joined by Terry Donnelly, Sony Pro photographer and user. Yeah. And I see you've got an A9 there. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit more about your, your photography, your work, and the Sony A9, and your lovely 85mm 1.4 lens? Absolutely, and, Richard, and absolutely. Choice. Now, I choose this one because I shoot professional sports, I shoot premiership football, I shoot top flight sports and gymnastics, and this camera can perform in low light conditions. It's got fantastic autofocus capabilities, and it fits the bill perfectly for me. But I also use it as a general camera as well. I do portraiture with it, I do landscapes. Anything I'm shooting, it's my A9. And you quite rightly pointed out the 85mm f1.4 G Master lens. This lens is the best lens I've ever shot in my life, and I've shot a lot of lenses. It's absolutely pin sharp wide open. It's got beautiful bokeh at f1.4, and it's just an outstanding lens, Richard. What camera was your go-to before the A9? Oh, okay. Well, I've shot DSLR and mirrorless cameras since 2009, and I've ran them very much side by side. And I've done that because the DSLR and the mirrorless I was shooting before Sony didn't really meet all my needs, so it was a case of picking one for, for different jobs. The DSLR was always faster on focus, um, the, the image quality was better, the mirrorless was smaller and it was packed with features as well which I enjoyed to use. So now this really has combined both worlds and this is just my one system which I love to shoot. Do you think we're at a tipping point now? Because it's always been mirrorless has been like the poor relation of yeah. DSLR, particularly when it came to pros. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Obviously the, the A9, there's you know a rival out there, you know the Panasonic G9. I think we're at that point now. And what, do you agree? Yeah, do you think it, we're there? I, I think certainly with Sony, the tipping point's already happened. Sony are the only manufacturer of a produce a full frame mirrorless camera in this market. And in my opinion, the, the, the streets ahead of anybody else, the renovation is just absolutely superb. We've got IOTO focus on this camera. I can shoot really easy at f1.4. Um, I don't even have to work hard to do it. And that was never the case before. Shooting at really wide apertures, you know, you did have to work exceptionally hard. And that's allowed me now to just focus on the photography and to think more about composition, posing, um, and just how, generally how the image looks. It, it's a lot more intuitive, the system. And the burst shooting rate and the AF, you're happy, you're happy with Absolutely. that? Absolutely. 20 frames a second, uh, 693 autofocus points on this. And the benefits of that is, if, if I'm shooting a, a football match and I've got a player moving across the frame, I'm not just using the central set of points. And, you know, so I, I can really work the composition, I can really push the players to the side of the frame, that's the way I want to do it. Um, obviously, we've got zero blackout in the EVF and also on the rear screen when we're shooting at 20 frames a second. And the focusing system is just blazingly fast and also very, very accurate as well. I shoot sports also at f1.4 and some gymnastics have shot in the trampoline session of show today at the, um, on the stand. And it's, it's, it's just a fantastic system. So it's interesting what you said there about the AF points. Has, yeah. has it changed creatively a little bit how you shoot because you have got the AF right to the edge of the yeah. frame? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if I, was, if I was shooting for a sponsor at a sporting event, I'd need to get their signage in. So I'd sort of track my focus onto the athlete or the sports person. And then I'd sort of recompose and try and bring signage in, but now I don't need to do that. I just actually lock onto the sports person and I, I just move the camera. There's 693 autofocus points on this and the, the camera takes care of the rest. Um, the innovation and the quality from these cameras is second to none. That's brilliant. Terry, really appreciate you taking the time out to chat to us. You're welcome, Richard. Great Take to care. see you. All the best. Thank you.